Hey guys, welcome to another showcase today and this is going to be showcasing Displayland which is a 3D scanning application directly for your mobile. So today we're going to be looking at Displayland, the features that it has and they're bringing in some of the scanned objects into Unity and making our very own diorama scene or a scene which you could imagine to be used in a game itself. So Displayland is essentially a 3D scanning app for your phone which uses the video camera to capture the actual data and then from there the data is stored and transferred to the cloud and it's processed into a 3D object which can be exported usually as an OBJ with the texture and then you can use this in popular 3D programs to bring that into a popular game engine like Unity and really go from there. And you've often heard of maybe things of 3D scanning, whether that be photogrammetry. You might have seen some of these in Unity's technical demo, which was the Book of the Dead, and other games that made it very prevalent, which was the vanishing of Ethan Carter. Now, normally, 3D scanning or photogrammetry purposes, you'd need an expensive set of equipment, DSLR cameras. You'd have to take hundreds of photos of any particular object that you wanted to scan into a particular 3D sort of environment. You would take the pictures and then you would get a program which stitches all those images together to create one seamless model. You would still have to retopologize and do everything from there. What Displayland helps you do is take away the fact of not needing that DSLR anymore, not needing any very high tech stuff. You can just do it all within a phone environment. And you might actually ask me, what do we expect to use Displayland for? Now, Displayland isn't just something that you can use just for promotional purposes to scan in for perspective viewers or environments or things for promotional materials it could be used in a game environment whether you use this in an AR or a VR scenario whether you make a game which is for a visualization project where you want people to come and visit a location virtually and you've got that you could put that integrated into your website and have people be able to look around at the places that you've made and the things that you want people to visit from a virtual perspective you can do that with 360 cameras this is almost some way to add an extra level of customization so you can control how it looks you can control the lighting you can control the textures the shadows and things that you could normally in a game engine and you can also create really photorealistic props that you can use within games too so it doesn't matter what purpose you want to use it for display land has it covered so I'll give you some quick tips on when you're trying to actually capture an object in itself. You'll see that when you walk around or you just have a little go on walking around an object to capture it, you'll notice that there was uh, there's almost little dot points around the screen and it shows specific data points that is captured based on where you've moved around. So the best things to do when you come to actually focus on an object is have two or three laps around the object that you're looking to do, getting closer to specific parts, moving away, moving back and focusing on areas which might not have the captured data. You'll have a progress bar at the bottom which will slowly increase as you collect enough data for it to be processed, it has a minimum amount and it goes all the way to a maximum. And you also want to remember that you want to have areas of good contrast between a light and dark area. You want to have a neutral day which is overcast which doesn't have any harsh shadows or real reflective surfaces because that's best for capturing the data because just like in normal tech everyday textures especially in a PBR workflow you don't necessarily want shadow data on your textures in themselves you just want a very flat day with flat colors so then you can then add your shadows thereafter but once you've done that you can click to upload and it can be anywhere between 20 and over 100 megabytes it can take between 10 minutes and a couple of hours depending on the size of the scan that you've got and how long it will take to process but you can choose to upload later if you so wish and it will just process it in the background and you'll get a notification on your phone when it's available and once you've actually got your scan within the app you can choose to then view it crop it or export it and all you have to do is click the little share link or the download on your actual asset itself and it will email you a zipped file of the actual object itself it will give you a texture file it will give you a 3d object and obj can be open in any popular 3d software and I will also link in the description for you to go directly to the Displayland website which you can have a whole overview with their own tutorials on exactly how you can do best practices, setups and much more. But, and I will also leave a specific link for you to be directly linked to the actual application on your mobile device. But we'll go bringing this into a 3D program and I'll show you a little diorama scene in Unity. 
Hey guys, so I'm going to give you a quick example of one of the exported scanned objects from Displayland and bringing it into a 3D modeling program and then being able to use it with inside your engine. So often when you extract the folder, you will get the object and you will get a texture. Your texture may look something like this, but say we've got this object in our scene. Some of the common things that you would probably want to do is reorient the pivot, center it to the object, set the object to the middle of your scene and potentially rotate your object so it is currently bright and suitable for your scene that you've got it going in now. If you're in something like 3ds Max, you could potentially reset the X form just to make sure all the objects and utilities are in order, convert to edit plural poly. And say we've got our object now and we want to get rid of this bottom of this object, we could select by an edge polygon selection and set the actual angle down a little bit and actually select different edges or different bottom elements of our object and just go along and adjust as we can see here. Once you've got your object to an editable state like this, you can choose to optimize the mesh by either retopologizing and baking the material or textures out. You could redo the UV map, but we're going to use it like this for now. So once it's like this, we can just go to our file. In any program export, we can export the selected object. We can export as FBX and we can export the smoothing groups and I use to preserve edge orientation so you can use it in other engines other than Unity. So this is the little diorama scene that I've made using some of the assets from Displayland. You can see that the tunnel in itself is a scan from Displayland with the objects that include my sofa, the motorbikes and other simple assets which I've incorporated from other things that you can get for free on the asset store, other models I've made and just added some custom lighting, post-processing, volumetric effects to make it look more interesting. Be sure to check out everything Thing display land has to offer because it can take the quality of the things that you want to create to the next level and even if you have the smallest interest it can go a hell of a long way to making you a better games designer so be sure to let me know if you want to see how something like this little scene is made and I can make a tutorial on it and remember to check my links out to get display land for yourself get using it and share with their community so thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers